Hi, I'm Bonnie Browning with the American Quilter Society and today I'm with Pat Holly. And Pat is the winner of our Best Wall Quilt Award at this year's Quilt Show. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. What? I'm just still speechless. Okay, well you know what, I think the quilters out there probably want to know a little bit about what you did on this quilt. So tell us about the fabric, the thread, the, what you did to make it. Okay, um, the, well the quilt is called Imagining India and I made it when I was thinking about a trip to India. I love Indian textiles, Indian embroideries. So I designed this looking at pictures of, in books of old textiles. Um, I made it, it's all silk fabric. And I, one thing I really enjoy doing is stitching on the background of the uh, fabric before I put the applique on using decorative stitches on my machine. You stitch actually underneath all of these yes. before you applique? Yes, so before the elephants went on the purple, underneath it is all, it's like I created a piece of fabric with decorative stitches. Okay. And then I put the applique on, it's a raw edge fused applique with a little blanket stitch. I do stitch around every little applique piece. Do you find anything unusual about working with the silk fabric? I, you know, people think that silk is difficult. I have not had a problem because I'm doing that background embellishment I have to stabilize it and I use a just a fusible interfacing like we used in our collars when we were home sewing our clothes okay. and that stabilizes that background fabric and then it's ready for the applique the applique has the fusible on it so that stabilizes that so I don't I it's wonderful and Easy I love with, huh? I love the colors the depth of the colors the shine the luster and, yeah, and, and then, actually up close, you really can see that luster too. And the other th aspect, and then my favorite thing to collect now, are trims. So I purchased some of these trims and then top stitched those on. It's just another little decorative element. Well, all right. Now this isn't your first time to win at the AQS Quilt Show. No. And so what's it like to be a repeat winner? It, every time I win, it is just an, such an honor. When you look at the other quilts out there, I, 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 it just... It's humbling that my quilt was judged and won the award. Well, and I can tell you, the competition was really tough this time. Oh, so that was. tells you what a beautiful quilt this is. Mm -hmm. Now I want to ask you one last question, and that is, what advice would you give the quilters out there about entering this or any other AQS contest? All right. First of all, I highly encourage people to enter shows. What this has done over the years, having these kind of competitions, has made us better and better quilt, quilt makers. So I encourage people, and especially the other shows that AQS has, and the new one that's coming up in Grand Rap is my home state. Um, that's a great way to, to get started, to have your quilts be seen. It gives you practice in photography, because that, that's the first step, is getting a really good photograph of your quilt. Mm -hmm. And you know, having a good digital image is, makes all the difference. So get good pictures. Be sure enter. to measure your quilt because you know the, the biggest reason quilts get disqualified from our contest is because they don't actually fit the category. And so if it says 25 inches, then you need to make sure you measure and make sure your quilt is 25 inches. Well, and that's another good point, Bonnie. Every show has a little bit different rules, <laughs> so be sure you check the category rules because a quilt that you've worked hard on may not fit a category. So. I, I do think about that ahead of time when I'm even designing my quilts. Sure, you might have to add one extra border, right? To make I've it fit. been known to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations Thank again, you. Pat. And, and, and I want everyone to come look at her quilt here at the show. All right, thanks, Bonnie. The other possibility is that the books that are formatted.